Look at what we've achieved in the space of 11 years. It's phenomenal. And I want to thank every single one of you that's been riding with me. What a roller coaster journey. But you know what the problem is? Is that it's far from over yet. Hey, good for him, man. Salute to AJ. So he's not retiring, man. I'm not going like that. 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 If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. As you can see, man, you know, AJ has announced, you know, what his plans are for the future. And it's not to retire, despite what everybody has been saying. You know, the quote unquote experts, the same quote unquote experts that coincidentally picked AJ to win, you know, erroneously, you know, and all of a sudden they want him to retire. And all of a sudden he looks bad. He looks terrible. Like, I've told people before, man, Anthony Joshua didn't necessarily look bad, you know, relative to him, you know, <laughs> in, in comparison to him, you know, how he's looked before. AJ didn't really look too, look too much different. It's just that some of his fall, or some of his falls, some of his faults and some of his faults, he had a lot of falls, by the way, but some of his faults and his flaws that were always, that have always been there, you know, he, this time he was in there against a young lion and Daniel Dubois who was able to capitalize off those falls like I anticipated. But going into this fight, you know, if you picked Anthony Joshua, it's okay, it's not a problem, you know? You dumbass. It's just that I didn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I picked Dubois the whole time, and I'm not saying I'm good, I'm just better than you, you know what I'm talking about, so, <laughs> so well, my point is that it's just crazy to me that everybody wants this man to retire like he's been going through some slump or major decline, no, he was on the four fight streak, the same four fight streak that he was on that made you think that those opponents were of high enough caliber for him to overcome Dubois, and you were just wrong, bro, it, it, it's okay, I don't think that he should do anything drastic as retiring, you know what I'm saying, he's still one of the biggest uh, names in the, in the sport of boxing he's done great things for boxing you know british boxing not just british boxing but boxing as a whole you know when tyson fury looked a little shaky baby he looked terrible against francis and ganu right you know we tried sending Tyson Fury out there. He didn't look good to hold it down for boxing. You know, we didn't send Deontay Wilder out there. We didn't send Alexander Usyk out there. We didn't send Daniel Dubois out there, even though his nickname is Dynamite. You know who we sent out there? AJ. Focus. Oh, shit! Oh! Anthony Joshua, had to blitz him right now. I had to blitz him if I was... Oh, my God! You know, that doesn't mean that Usyk, Wilder, Big Bang Zhang, uh, 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 Daniel Dubois or Bacoli or anybody else or even Philip Hergovitz, that doesn't mean that they wouldn't have beat Francis Ngannou to hold it down for boxing. But I don't know if they would have beat him like that, man. Anthony Joshua made boxing proud that day. So this is this is the same guy that, that everybody was so enamored with that victory and so impressed because that was it looked impressed. It was it looked more impressive than it actually was because if you consider the caliber of fighter which he did it against, but that convinced you to pick up against Dubois because the vast majority picked him over Dubois. Now that he lost to Dubois, uh, like people are saying that he should retire. And like I don't know if you were looking at the same Dubois that I'm looking at, unless you think Dubois is trash, which he's not. He was a champion at the time. He was defending this championship for the first time against Joshua, not the other way around. Got to put some respect on Dubois' name. It's just that Dubois was just a better man that night. But Joshua fought with heart. You know, he fought with heart and he demonstrated power by wobbling Dubois in the same exact round that he got, you know what I'm saying, folded up. Wrapped up, smacked up. And packed up, you know, so I just think that, um, you know, I think people are jumping the gun. And well, I will uh, uh, say this again, too. Just because I don't think Anthony Joshua should retire doesn't mean that he, he can't. You know, if he wants to retire, then he should do it on his own accord. He shouldn't do it because someone else has told him to. And he seems like from what he said in this video that we just shown, you know, that, hey, man, he still has confidence in himself. And that's the biggest thing right there. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest ingredient when it comes to making a recipe for success, right? And he's definitely still has that, and I'm happy to hear it, man. AJ, you know, can you imagine if AJ retires and gets his will because he's listening to everybody, the same people that said he would win, the same are the same people calling him out now? Can you imagine if my if if George Foreman? Can you imagine if George Foreman? listen to everybody and didn't come back at 45 to challenge Michael Moore? Speaking to George Foreman, can you imagine if Muhammad Ali would would have listened to everybody and not fought uh, George Foreman? 
Can you imagine that? And you're going to say, oh, well, are you saying AJ's as good as George Foreman? He's not as good as Muhammad Ali. Rest in peace. I'm not saying that he's as good as them. I'm saying that he defied the odds. But just to please your goofy behind who can't follow simple analogies. You dumbass. What about Joseph Parker? Oh, Joseph Parker. You know, by the way, he lost to Anthony Joshua. Oh, by the way, he lost to Dylan White. Oh, by the way, he got packed up, wrapped up, and smacked up by uh, by Joe Joyce, who knocked him out. Imagine if, jo uh, if Joseph Parker would have quit. Last time I checked, he's currently an interim champion, you know, but y'all don't respect interim champions, right? That's what y'all say, because Dubois was a fake champion because he got elevated, right? That's what he, he was an email champ, right? But Joseph Parker's on a streak right now, right? I think that the Wilder that he beat, I think it was an overrated victory because Wilder is ob obviously on a super decline. I think he should retire because he's no longer the same. He had a great career. I think he should retire before he hurts himself, you know, because he's on a major slump and his skills are nowhere near to where it was before. But that's not applicable to Joshua. Joshua... He just lost to a good fighter in Daniel Dubois. He still looks like himself, in my opinion. So when people say that, oh, you know, this guy should retire, imagine if Joseph Parker would have retired. He wouldn't have had his career uh, resurgence, you know. Even if Anthony Joshua would have stopped fighting a little while ago, he wouldn't have bounced back and been on a four-fight streak after losing to Usyk twice. So I think that he's still a capable fighter. Can he beat Dubois in a rematch? No, I think he should stay away from him. But could he still po possibly beat Tyson Fury, uh, depending on the uh, um, the outcome of Tyson Fury versus Usyk? Yeah, I think that still be a good matchup. I always had Tyson Fury beating uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, but it's still an interesting matchup. Could Anthony Joshua beat Philip Hergovich? I think if that fight if, if that fight matched up now, I think a lot of people would still have Anthony Joshua. You know, uh, would you, what about what about Joseph Parker? Oh, well, you don't need to count him because he already beat him. That's 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 a <laughs> that's a foregone conclusion. You know what I'm saying? And then let's say if he fought Big Bang Zhang, I I would pick Zhang over Anthony Joshua, but I would pick him before his loss to Dubois as well but even with big bang zang i think a lot of people will argue that joshua will win you know why oh anthony joshua beat zay Le zang big bang in the olympics already so uh, and those i'm not going to go through the whole heavyweight list of contenders but my point is that just because you're not one of the top three or four guys doesn't mean that you're no you can no longer contribute to the sport as long as you can compete in a safe manner at a high level which aj can then he, he's good man so i love the fact that he's doing it for himself he's choosing for himself he's making a decision uh his road to redemption is going to be probably even more difficult now because his window is smaller and he's older but i still think he can and it seems like his goal is to be a third a, th a three-time champion you know what i'm saying the world heavyweight division and not too many uh, athletes have accomplished that so it'll put him in rarefied air he's already in rare air because you know ain't nobody packing up stadiums like like aj you know outside of canelo can anybody else even do that you know um of course now you're anyways out doing it in japan but we got to think that now you're anyway the biggest fighter in japan just like canelo is the biggest fighter in mexico he's the biggest fighter in boxing so outside of in and, and canelo and maybe if you want to put Javante take davis who i don't even think he could sell as much as anthony joshua uh, as far as packing out stadiums go not interested in not being the face because you know we rock with Javante over here but anthony joshua is at a pinnacle of the sport when it comes to uh expanding the brand of boxing you know what I'm saying? so we got to put respect on that and he's a former two-time champion so you know going for a third time so i'm glad that he's, he's deciding for himself and like like eddie hearn has said man Anthony Joshua still has a lot of fights left and at the end of the day I don't want to see this fight but a lot of people would want to see Anthony Joshua Wilder and they're both coming off losses I think Wilder should retire but according to Malik Scott who I think is uh, 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 he seemingly like he's, he's seeming like a terrible human being because Deontay Wilder does not seem capable of competing at a high level anymore um, you know you, and we hate to see the, the greats and the legends compete past their uh, uh, past not even past their prime but past a time where they can compete in a safe manner and you know and they start going downhill you know we've seen with Pacquiao, we've seen it with uh, 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 Roy Jones, we've seen it with James Tony, we've seen it with Nonito Donaire, and so on and so forth. So many greats that, that just compete for a little bit too long and they start losing to people they have no business losing to. So I think Wilder is at that point in his career, so I just hope that he, he's able to complete to compete in a safe manner. I think it would be best for him to retire, but I don't think he will. And if he's not going to retire, then people will still be interested in AJ and Wilder. And if AJ beats Wilder, the same effect will happen similarly to joseph parker all of a sudden people would think that he's back you know when th people think joseph parker is good and it's crazy that you would say joseph parker is good because he beat somebody that a lot of people think is trash in deontay wilder which i think is terrible because deontay wilder is a, a hall of famer whether you like him or not you know uh, he, he's a beast of a fighter so i think there's still a lot of options for aj he can still fight uh tyson fury you know what i'm saying especially if he loses he could he could even exercise his right to a rematch even though frank warren said that there's not an immediate rematch for them i, I think that they would still uh uh uh, uh, uh entertain that that option because 
of how much money it brings and revenue it generates. And, and you know, and then you can even fight Deontay Wilder or any of the other heavyweights that just recently lost, like uh, 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 Arzlanabek Makhmadov or Frank Sanchez or Jerry B. Baby Anderson or, like I said, Philip Hergovich or some others. So I still think he's serviceable, still has a lot of things he could accomplish in the sport. And good for him, man. Salute to AJ. So he's not retiring, man. So, yeah, man, I, I just want to drop that news on y'all for the one time. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. That's it for the doctor, man. We out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.